Thank you, Dakota. Hello, everybody. Hi, Carmen. Welcome to the show. How are you? How are you today, Carmen? Let me know. Oh, Eric Hart. Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? Let me know if this camera angle looks. Oh, here we go. It actually looks pretty good. Okay. Hi. Good, good afternoon. Hi, Ace. Everybody. Carmen. It's good to see you guys. Ooh, let me zip this up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, how are you guys doing today? I got some announcements uh, in case you guys missed them on the YouTube channel. Gonna have a little new segment for y'all. Let's start things off with the Hell Witch action figure pre-orders. We have extended it because you guys demanded it. So you have till August 7th is the new cutoff date. That's August 7th, day before my birthday. <laughs> um, to get the pre-orders in for the Lady Death Legacy six inch premium action figure Coffin Comics exclusive edition. So, if you haven't gotten today, we extended it for you guys because y'all asked for it. And you know what? We love listening to you all. So, August 7th, August 7th, August 7th, cutoff date for the Hellwish action figure pre orders. So, we gave you a few more weeks. Go ahead and jump on in, scoop those up. Yeah, three weeks. Yeah, and then on the 11th, we have coming up in just four weeks our Lady Death Sacrificial Annihilation Kickstarter will launch four weeks. That's August 11th. I'll be there. So will Brandy. So will just about everyone here at HQ will be there. Um, and we want you to be there. So look out for the links. Um, look out for the fun the shenanigans. Here are some of the artists that we have lined up for you. Contributing cover artists are Diego Bernard, Stephen Butler, Michael Golden, Joel Gomez, Sun K, Sia Ohm, Richard Ortiz, Anthony Spey, Arthur Sudom, that's crazy, uh, Jesse Witchman, Eric Basaluda, Tyler Kirkham, Dan Mendoza, Paolo Pantalia, Rake, R-E-I-Q, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that, Jose Var uh, Varse, and more. So, don't delay, get ready for that Kickstarter today. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We are planning to uh, just have tons of fun stuff for you guys. You know the drill, we like to have fun here. There'll be some libations, there'll be a lot of humor. Um, you know, you guys know what to expect. It's always fun when we launch our Kickstarters. Hi, Will. How are you today? Jay, welcome to the show, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. It's really great to see you all. Um, if you haven't signed up for the Coffin Comics Sworn Club, well, I think you should do it today. Here's some of the yearly uh, membership benefits you get. Special access to Coffin Comics Insider News before anyone else. Be in the know before everyone else. Uh, early access to Coffin Comics shop promotions. Ooh. Uh, invite only special online events and announcements. Special access to Coffin Comics Sworn Club members only comic books and merchandise. A one-time 10% discount on certain uh, uh, items offered at the Coffin Comics shop. And you are automatically entered into a monthly prize drawing which we're gonna be doing our first one, oh my gosh, tomorrow, it's Thursday already. Holy cannolis. So, sign up today. And while we are on the Sworn Club, let's uh, give a shout out to the people who are celebrating birthdays in the month of July. So, we salute you, beautiful people. Jose Michael Yap, Emmanuel Leilola, Juan Gutierrez, Ivan Howard, Caitlin Salisbury, Kim Dijon, Mark Brack, uh, Mikael Galloway, Chris Wedge, Michael Williams, Chris Bassler, Michelle Williams, Hi Michelle, happy birthday, 
James Doe, happy birthday. Grace Maison, David Loftus, happy birthday. Uh, Sebastian Coyle, uh, Colin, I'm sorry, Sebastian Colin, Karen Walsh, Richard Wheeling, happy birthday. Uh, Craig Fetrich, I'm probably mispronounced that, I'm sorry, Craig, happy birthday to you. Dennis Purish, happy birthday. Nicole Rogers, happy birthday. Jonathan Biek, happy birthday to you. Bob uh, DeCorey, happy birthday. Michael Kerr, Norman Leho, uh, John Tackett, David Ray, Michael Nicoletti, and Richard T. Guys, happy birthday to you all. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful birthday with family and friends. Um, I hope you guys all just, just had a wonderful day, an amazing day. So happy birthday to you all. Also, uh, we did our first Swarm Club member spotlight in the new VIP newsletter. Look at that handsome guy. Look at that. He's over at the local comic shop, checking out things. And here's what he put. I always try to go to uh, comic book and record shops when I travel. I found uh, this Evil Ernie in downtown Ithaca, New York. Unread condition for $20. Also enjoyed their local Pilsner. Grant Klein, thank you for joining the Swarm Club. Also, guys, if you'd like, we still have some of these amazing... Swarm Club t-shirts for $25. Go ahead and scoop them up. We still have some available. Get them. You see, it looks silly jumping up and down showing the shirt. It's a great shirt, very soft, very comfortable. I really enjoy it. It doesn't have that heaviness you get from a lot of t-shirts and the print um, is just really nice. Feels nice on the skin, as I like to say. So really, really amazing t-shirts. They're still available, so Pick them up today, $25, $25. Also, um, make sure you sign up for the Swarm Club if you haven't already. All right, here's some stuff we got coming your way for the rest of the year. We've got, uh, that was the 12th, today's the show here. You guys are all here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Friday, July 16th, 2021, 9 a.m. and 12 a.m. Eastern Time, we have... Uh, Hell Witch, Sacrilegious 1, Kickstarter Premiere Wave 3. We'll be shipping out more of those. So if you missed out on some stuff because you couldn't get them at the time, well, now's your chance. We'll have them up and live on the store. That's Friday, July 16th. All right. On August 4th, 2021, Monty Moore Military Branch Celebration. We are celebrating the Coast Guard for that event. Also, uh, Wednesday, August 11th, Coffin Comics, Lady Death Sacrificial Annihilation, Kickstarter launches. This is Chapter 14 in the Lady Death Adventures here in the Coffinverse. On our third quarter, pre-orders start for the La Muerta 6-inch action figure. Oh boy, it's coming, it's coming, it is coming. Also, Swarm Fest tickets are still available. Where is it going to be? February 25th through the 27th, 2022, Mesa, Arizona. It'll be at the Mesa Convention Center, Building B. All right, there'll be exclusives, parties, artists, signings, panels, beer, food, coffee, alcohol, uh, HQ Volume 2 tours. So that one, get to check out the whole HQ. Uh, there'll be a trading post, CGC, Fiendship, camaraderie, community, and so much more. I'm going to be there. I know a bunch of you are going to be there, and I cannot wait to see you all. And one of the creator spotlights we did, Diego Bernard will be joining us. Look at that handsome devil. He's been doing some beautiful art for us in the books for quite a while, and it's going to be great to have him visiting uh, with us here at Sworn Fest. So he's coming all the way from Brazil. He is one of the hottest young talents in comics. He made his first mark in the 18-issue run of Top Cow's title Witchblade and quickly followed out three years later at Valiant Comics, where he helped shape the popular core characters of Exo Manowar and Ninjak, among others. Shortly after that, Diego worked on a few issues of X-Men Gold before assuming uh, the regular duties on Lady Death and Hellwitch. Full weekend pass will cost you $40 for the weekend. 
It includes access to the Friday VIP party, a Swarm Fest exclusive comic book, a collectible VIP ticket, and a Swarm Fest exclusive pre-order opportunity. Ooh. Saturday, tickets will run you $25. It does not include the Swarm Fest exclusive comic, the Friday night launch party, the collectible ticket, or the Swarm Fest exclusive pre-order opportunities. Sunday, tickets will run you $20. And again, it does not include the Swarm Fest exclusive comic, the Friday night launch party, the uh, collectible ticket, or the Swarm Fest exclusive pre-order uh, opportunity. So if you want all the special swag in those sweet bags, make sure you get a full weekend pass, guys. So that's everything I have today for news. I uh, have some fun stuff here on the catacombs for you. Let me just look at some comments from everyone. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, once we get everything done with the uh, taking care of all the pre-order stuff, um, Gwen, we will have those on the store. So keep your eyes out. We will definitely be announcing it. We love to announce whenever we get new merchandise. Um, J uh, will James, hello again. Jay Taylor, what is up? Well, I'm still above ground. I'm doing well. Uh, been doing my, my doctor has advised me to do and so far my blood pressure is getting down to uh, um, pretty much normal as it can get because it runs in my family I haven't treated it for a while so I'm liking it no new items what are you talking about we got items on the store right now oh thank you Jay <laughs> you're gonna make me blush yes Weekend pass. I can't wait to have a cup of java with you, man. I cannot wait. So I know you don't drink, so I'm going to drink a cup of coffee with you. And um, it'll be great to chat with everyone. It's going to be great to see you all together with all of us here in beautiful Mesa, Arizona. We are going to take over the town for that weekend, and we are going to let them know who the sworn are, who the fiends are. We're taking over Mesa, and we invite you to join us. So... Tickets are still available, $40 for the full weekend. That is a great deal, and my name ain't Neil. So, get it today, it's some amazing stuff. Hell yeah, right on dude, yeah. Coffee, coffee, coffee. All right guys, let's get on to the catacombs. Dakota has loaded everything up, but before I go any further, I want to show you guys what we got coming up for the CCI at home. So, this will be next weekend's offering. So, I got some samples of the books. Uh, this is a really stunning piece by David Harrigan. This is Hell Witch Sacrilege Number 1. This is the Hell Bomber Edition. I love this cover. I love that it's an uh, homage to uh, Betty Page. It's definitely got the Betty Page looks. And also, I like on the bomb, he put the little 2LD with love. So that's pretty awesome. So thank you, David, for contributing again. This will be available next week. So Thursday, Friday, look out for it. I'm sure Jimmy will correct me on anything I, I put out that is wrong. Right now in temperature, we've it started raining here finally in the valley, across the valley. Um, so it's probably only gonna be a high of 103, which is hot, we got the humidity, but it's such a relief from like the 115s, the 117s, and just having the sun constantly bear down in your head cooking you uh, like an egg. So yeah, it's so much nicer out here today, man. Um, I hope you're not having sound issues. Can you hear me? Please tell me you can hear me, Eric. Oh. I haven't hooked up the mic because I know I when I used to carry the mic with me, it would cause a lot of distortion. So I'm going to speak very loudly for you. Next up, coming up, the Hell Witch. Sacrilege number one, risque, Hell Bomber edition. What would any event be or promos be if we didn't include a risque or naughty edition? All right, I'm glad. I'll project my voice a lot more for y'all, okay? This is a mock-up, so you know you might see one of these popping up. All right, here we go. Mike Crum, again, the artists have really been stepping up their game this year. Brian has challenged them, and they are meeting that challenge. This is Lady Death, Extinction Express number one. 
Enraptured Edition by Mike Crone. Beautiful. Holy cow. Stunning, stunning, and stunning. But wait, I've got more. There is also the naughty Enraptured Edition. Shazam! And I remembered the sensor bars this time. Yes, I remember. And I'll be showing you guys the 11 by 17 prints of these as well for all you print collectors. <laughs> all right, next up. This is a really cool, cool, cool cover. <coughs> this is Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss Golden Age Death Rider Edition. Bam! That is an homage to the original Ghost Rider, which was a Western character at Marvel Comics. So before he had a bike, there was a Western character. Um, there was a really cool origin story they did about 15 years ago, a story on him, and it was brutally beautiful and a brutal story to read. This was awesome. I really love the Old West uh, Ghost Rider. All right, next up. From Elias Chetzuda, this is Lady Death, Mischief Knight, Gaze, Hollow, Foil, Edition. Boom. Look at that. That is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Make sure I'm showing this off all right. Look at those. Oh, that, that pops so much. Bam. Check it out, everybody. And we also have the Lady Death Swimsuit, Jose Barsi Naughty Metallic Edition. Bam, these will be available the end of next week, probably uh, Thursday, Friday. So be there, be square. Jimmy, if you can uh, make a correction on there if I'm giving out the wrong information, uh, I definitely wanna make sure all you beautiful people have the right information. So those will be the books available. We do have prints, and I don't mean the mu musician. He's no longer with us, unfortunately. All right, here's the uh, Death Rider 11 by 17 print. Again, really beautiful. You get the comic, um, if you order the comic and this together, what a great piece to frame in your wall. Stunning. All right, this is the uh, Hell Witch. Again, really awesome. I'm really loving this image particularly. It just, first time I saw it, oh, my heart fluttered. And it's not because of my blood pressure. <laughs> All right, enough of the health jokes. All right, here's the Mike Chrome image. Again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And of course, we have here for you the Elias Chatzuda print, 11 by 17. And bam, whoops, hey, it's a blank cover. No, I flip it over. Oh, good, they didn't erase. Yay! This is the Mike Chrome Naughty 11 by 17 print. These will all be available next week for you. <laughs> yes, it is the uh, Civic, yeah, that's July 11th. Do you mean the 17th? Or am I looking at it? I don't have my glasses on. So I think it's July 17th because it's already past the 11th. Yes, it is. Is it? Yes, it's the 14th. Do you mean the 17th, uh, Jimmy? Thursday, July, no. That would be even sooner. Uh, I don't know. Jimmy will correct me. And here is the naughty Hell Witch. And I love, I just love that he put, you know, the message on the bomb, uh, like a lot of folks do in the military. So those are the offerings we'll have for you next week. Oh, the 22nd. See? Thank you, Jimmy. All right. So let's get down to the catacombs. I have some things for you. A lot of these were uh, finds, and these are the last issues I have for you today. Lady Death, Apocalyptic Abyss, Monty Moore Instant Edition. It was a pleasure to watch Monty create this live. Absolutely amazing. So we made it, he drew it, he, we got it colored, and then we had it shipped off to the printers, and bam, we had it in your hands. Lickety split. Always try to make things uh, come out very quickly for you, beautiful people, because you're worth it. Totally worth it. All right, I got some scratch and dents for you, a couple items. This is uh, Lady Death Damnation Game Hardcover Edition. I had two scratch and dent copies, $20. Limited to 666 copies, 
And uh, speaking of uh, Lady Death fans, uh, Dakota gave me something really cool I'll be putting up in the catacombs uh, later in August. Uh, I had never seen the cover. I've only heard about it, so um, I can't wait to show that to you guys um, when I get it loaded up. You can probably expect to see that late August. Oh, I forgot to censor bars on these. These are the last four copies we have of this edition. This is Hellwitch, Gallery Numero One, Risque Inferno Edition. Let me get my censure finger flute playing in position. Bam. These are the last four copies, everybody. Last four copies. I present to you, if you miss out, um, sorry. <laughs> Some of this stuff goes quickly. All right. And the mighty Dakota found these also for me. This is Blast Me Anthem, Metallic Jeweled Edition. Jesse Witchman is the artist. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, Metallic Jewels and the Jeweled Editions are very, very cool collectibles. They are very unique and they're absolutely breathtaking. Where else do you get a metal cover? We are the first, we are the best. We are Coffee Comics, all right. Next up, I found one of these and I was really happy. This is uh, Lady Death the Reckoning trade paperback, third printing, $7. This is the last copy. This is it. If you've been waiting, well, now's your chance because that's it. Um, hopefully, I can find some more for y'all. Also, something that's very unique. Um, I wish I had a complete run for y'all, but this is Supernaturals number one. From Marvel Comics, Jim Ballant did the cover. This is signed by Brian, and he has written this title. I only have one. And it has inside the gargoyle mask, Halloween mask that comes inside. Um, there is some random masks put in the middle of this book. Some are rarer than others. Uh, I know the Ghost Rider one is the rare one. Unfortunately, I do not have that here. I have the gargoyle cover. That's right, Brian Polito, working for Marvel Comics. Such an exciting time, especially for him. I know he was just probably giddy as all get out. All right, another last copy. This is Unholy, written by Brian Polito. This is issue three. This is the premium cover. This is all I have left, just the one. On Monday, I presented to you guys a bunch of other onesies I had left. Um, a lot of that stuff is selling out quickly, so uh, scoop them up. You know, they're really good prices, really good deals. All right, Medieval Lady Death, number seven. This is the platinum foil, my last one. One and done, one and done. And last but definitely not least, this is Lady Death, Lost Souls, issue two, platinum foil. This is the last one. So scoop them up, get them, yum, 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 for all you uh, Lady Death or Brian Polito uh, collectors. Got a lot of great stuff for you. Let's see what some of the comments are from all you wonderful people. All right. Let's see, do I have it? Uh, the books I showed for you for, for the CCI at home, we're going to be doing next week. That is Thursday, uh, July 22nd. I hope that helped you out, Eric. Um, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy is known to travel time. He is a time uh, traveler. And um, if you're gonna travel time, at least do it in style with the DeLorean, right? They are not on the site. All right, let me last free the tatas. <laughs> I can't do that, I'll, I'll get in trouble for Facebook. Uh, let me just message Dakota real quick to let her know there's some issue on the catacombs. All right, give her a quick message. Um, let's see, a couple of folks. Let's see, get this message out to her and see what's going on. Not seeing catacombs. Mm. All right, I'll go ahead and send that. For some reason. 
All right. Thank you for letting me know, Eric. If you guys could let me know when they're back up, um, that would be amazing. Oh, hey, wow. Look at, look at this community we have. There will be a vault. Get ready. It's going to be a doozy of a vault. Three days, there will be vault items for metallic hearts and, of course, the super rare groovy stuff, including deep vault items, CGC graded items, and regular vault items, four, fives, and sixes for y'all. Oh, uh, Ace just said everything is up to date and uh, just said just go ahead and refresh. So hopefully that'll help you out there, Eric. Also, you know, everybody, I have to say, again, on the subject of Swordfest, for those who didn't make it to Fiendfest, that was a hell of a good time. A hell of a good time. It was three days of fun. Definitely not in the sun because we had a major storm, so it was actually really cold. I met a wonderful couple from France that uh, were laughing that said, uh, I thought it would be warmer here. And um, it, was, it was hilarious because it, it was really pouring down the rain. But it really set the mood for the weekend. It really just made it like, we have taken over this town. We are having fun, camaraderie. Uh, people that have only seen each other on Facebook or whatnot. People all gathered together in this community that centers around Lady Death, Hell Witch, La Muerta. All the amazing characters that Brian has created or helped create that has made Coffin Comics what it is today. So there's going to be a lot of great guests. There's going to be a lot of fun. And not only that, I know there's going to be a lot of hugs and photos because I am so looking forward to that weekend. Um, my wife, we can't wait to meet uh, Haley and a couple other folks. So I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to it. February is going to be here before you know it. So please make sure you get your tickets to Swarmfest. It's only 40 bucks. What a great deal for a con for a two, three day event. You got to be there. You don't want to miss it because we might not have another one for another couple years. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen uh, for the next one. But I want to see you guys here at this one coming up in February. So before I wrap things up, I will see you guys on Thursday the 14th for our Kickstarter launch of uh, Lady Death Sacrificial Annihilation. It's going to be fun. We got four weeks of amazing, uh, just a amazing time. It's going to be here before you know it. The next Kickstarter, four weeks away. And remember, we went ahead and extended the Hell Witch six inch action figure pre orders to August 2nd. So now's your opportunity to get that beautiful figure pre ordered today. Well, that's going to do it for me here today. I'm Julian the Hooligan. Thank you everyone for joining me. Thank you so much for supporting Coffin Comics. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. Have an amazing rest of your week. I'll talk to you later. I'm out. Ah, hoo, hoo, hoo. Bye, everybody. Love y'all.